be quite honest, you're very lucky to have Michael Whitehall this week because we had a bit of an incident this weekend because we went away for the weekend. And when we go away for the weekend, we always pack an enormous sponge bag, mainly due to the array of potions and lotions that you like to travel with. What do you mean? It's, it's huge. A lie. What? It is. It's what a huge potions sponge bag. lotions? I don't, I'm not going to go into detail, but it's a well, big... I'm not going to have you using vicious lying... <laughs> rubbish like that at the beginning all of you our need, program. All you need to know, Diaz. A Diels. little dash of aftershave occasionally I will have. I mean, or I cologne. wish. I wish. It's a big sponge bag. So that means that I then have to travel a little makeup bag as a separate entity. And Michael decided that he was going to freshen up his breath before breakfast. I mean, he cleaned his teeth. But he oh, just yeah, I didn't realise you were going to yes. say that. That was absolutely that, scandalous <laughs> what you did. <laughs> Absolutely scandalous. Okay, uh, let me tell the story. All right. So, he, rather than going to the sponge bag, in which there were two bottles of mouthwash, he decided to have a rootle in my makeup bag, in which, I will admit, I had decanted another liquid into a very small mouthwash bottle for my own personal use. Can I just interrupt that? Yes. Yeah. The word rootle. <laughs> I was not rootling in your sponge bag. It was lying on the top... The makeup bag. ...of this bag, this makeup bag, which I do not... Why would I be rootling in your makeup bag? Well, you won't ever do it again, that's for sure. It because... was lying on the top of the bag, this sort of pink... No, blue. Blue coloured... Liquid. And it had, on the front of it... The clue's in the name, mouthwash. So I took it and... Tr <laughs> nearly put killed it, yourself. Nearly killed myself because, because it wasn't fucking mouthwash <laughs> wasn't. because you'd put something else in it. Yes, I had decanted into a very small mouthwash bottle for my own personal use nail polish remover which is what he then swilled his mouth I mean, out it, with. I thought the whole roof of my mouth was peeling off. <laughs> it gave me the biggest shock I think I have... Almost ever had. I know. Well, you missed breakfast as a result. And I then had to go and get milk and all sorts, all because you went, you did the cardinal sin. What? The big cardinal sin of going into my makeup bag. I it's didn't nothing to go do with you. into you it. You did. It was on the top of it. Anyway, moral of the story. For I will the, for never the do it again. Gentlemen Don't worry about in, that. Do not root in your wife's I will or never go anywhere near bag. any of your makeup. Hmm. Anyway, we're jolly lucky to have him back with us because it was a close I mean, run. Thing. My mouth is still not a hundred percent back. <laughs> so if any of you listening to this, if there is anyone listening to it, and you hear me being talking a little bit like that, it might be because it's nail polish gate. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, we've learnt our lesson, haven't we? I hope you've learnt your lesson. <laughs>